In this tutorial, I will show you how to create an MSI installer for Java FXM, FX application. You need to download Wix toolset. So, recent version is 3.11.2 Install You go to C drive uh, program files, 64 bits, my case. This is the one uh, install directory you need to copy. Include binary directory. Just make sure copy installation directory. Then you uh, go to properties. We need to add installation directory to system pass. Looking for pass. Double click, new, paste it. OK. Let's create a new project. Seems OK, finish. Let me copy package. For FXML documents, I'm going to set title Java FX MSI installer for Java FX application. For simple demonstration of um, JavaFX application, I'm going to change only one value. Change to OK. FX ID and event handler, I will leave it as it is. Save it. Make controller. Remove line number 29. Let's look at the properties here. The first thing you need to look at is uh, packaging and the enable native packaging. Uh, make sure it's a standalone. Application is up to you. This is maybe useful. Okay. Build XML. We need to add um, revise the target uh, tags. I'll give it to you on the description uh, area. You can just download it. So that's the name, the dependency. Version both true native builds is MSI uh, installation directory here out DIR base DIR reports the Java application project directory and then uh, on the distribution application title as it is vendor as it is and then uh, base DIR again we are reporting to distribution directory looking for dot Java file. Let's go back to project, clean and build. It will take uh, uh, two, three minutes to build the project. 
main idea is it's going to collect all those message files to run your um, JavaFX application. So on the distribution bundles, we can see um, MSI file. Same as a project file, okay. This vision, we are going to look at bundles. This is going to install uh, system-wide installation. So it means that it's going to install on the C drive program files. So you must have an administrative account to install. Go to C drive. Here, we can launch our application. Um, MSI does not come with an uh, uninstaller, but it's already registered, so you can remove it or uninstall it. So go to um, Settings, look for JavaFX Application 91, uninstall. Okay, it's removed. Close it, that's all. Thank you.